Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are learning one of the best use case of Automation Anywhere integration with Microsoft Teams. That is, send a Microsoft Teams notification from RPA Bot Automation Anywhere. How we can do this activity and what is the importance of Microsoft Teams? Everything we will see in this particular video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. So without wasting the time, I have one question to you guys. So why exactly we need a Microsoft Teams in our RPA project? You can take a minute and you can comment on my video. So why exactly we need a Microsoft Teams? Because to give the live update of your project or a RPA bot tracking, right? So example, if you're having a thousand transactions or accounts, so that has to process from the RPA bot. So currently how we are building a bot, so all thousand transaction completed by the bot, then we will send a message or a mail to particular operation team that, hey, this particular process is completed. Can you please find the attachment of the transaction details, pass or a fail or a exceptions, everything you will get it from that particular master sheet. But nowadays the people want a live tracking of RPA bot. So it is very difficult to show them, okay, how the bot is working, right? So it's not like a meeting, sharing the screen, right? So how we can give the live tracking example, one transaction we will start. So once if any uh, exceptions comes directly, we can send a mail or a message. So mail is the one that is an old school activity, right? So we can send it to the mail in the Outlook. So it will spam their mailboxes. But Microsoft Teams is dedicatedly for chat, right? And users are very much familiar with this Microsoft activities. So that's why we can use this particular integration with our Automation Anywhere RPA bots and the projects. So this will give you the big boost with the client in, uh, interactions, right? This client will be very happy. So ultimately, if you are using these activities in your project, definitely the client will get more uh, visibility, right? To you, towards your RPA projects and you will get highlighted. So please, go through this video and implement in your project so and comment on my video also so how you feel about uh, this particular uh, video so in this video i will give you the step by step in, in interactions so how uh, you can go to the teams and how we can get the api keys and everything we will see in this particular video please don't skip this video if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to first notification to you so now how we can get or how we can send this messages instantly or live right from the automation anywhere that integration we will see so without wasting the time directly i will go to microsoft teams so now i have one particular teams group okay so basically we will have a dedicated teams group for the project okay so now i am taking a project name as a360 demo in this particular uh, teams you have to go to this three dot at the right hand side and go to the connectors very simple activity please be with me so you will get a step by step guide about how to send a notification from the automation anywhere so now very simple you have to search in the search bar incoming webhook already i have configured this particular um, connector but in your system it's a new Configuration means you have to search in the search bar, incoming webhook and configure it. So just I'm configuring. The first thing is you have to give the name of the task. So now I'm giving as A360 demo. So you can give your project name, okay? So in my case, for demo purpose, I'm creating a A360 demo. And you can upload dedicated or personalized uh, image for the bot, okay? So how it looks, I will show you later. So this is the image of the person how we will use a team's image or a profile image right it's the same way you can use the bot image and you have to click on the create just that's it so you have to give the bot name and upload if you need a image and create it so once you create okay wait for some time you will get one id that you have to copy it okay here in the url right so you will get id just copy that particular id 
So now don't share this particular ID to anyone. Just click on the done. So what is exactly this ID? Very simple. This ID is your URI in the API. So basically we have to call the REST web services in the automation anywhere and we have to send the messages. How we can do very simple, I will show you. Okay, just I'm closing. If you are not having this connector activity and if you are not having webhook in your uh, connectors, please contact your admin, means your Microsoft admin. He will have the access to give the authorization to you. Okay, so please connect with him and he, he or she so you can get this particular access with you so i have access of incoming web hook so i am using okay so just i am closing now directly we will go to automation anywhere so now the real picture how we can connect and how we can send the messages live okay so first thing is we have to get a rest web service go to the rest web service and take a post method okay this is very important you have to take a post method from the rest web services so after this once you will get the incoming webhook uh, uri and you will take the post method right so what you have copied that you have to paste it here basically you can take it in the variable or you can take it in the credential vault anything is fine just you have to enter here uri what we have copied from the webhook right so that's one and authentication everything is free so you you don't want to give it any authentication here and i need a i i wanted to send a parameter right so whatever the message i wanted to send it right so that's why i'm taking here like i'm coming here in the customer uh, custom parameters and enter parameters here i will write so open flower black bracket very simple okay and close the lower bracket so in between that write as e e x t text because we are sending a text right same way we can send a images also i will share you guys so how we can send images how we can get the data from the teams everything so basically today we are seeing how we can send a notification to teams okay after this you can send whatever you need okay so example i will share here this is from rpa bot right so like this i am sending a mail text this is from rpa bot you can mention here any variable also okay you can insert a variable from this example here i can insert um just sample string right so like this okay so i'm just adding and here i can take a prompt right from from the user i'm just taking a value and here please enter message right same thing i will take it here and take it in the sample string so now so once you're done with this just go ahead and take a multiple variables and key key is a body right and map the variable to something else okay just you can take it body so basically we are not uh, checking any output here because already we are sending a message to bot right so we are not taking back any details so no need to take any message box or something just hit on the run so once you will hit on the run so it will pop up uh call please enter the value right so just we have to enter one message so just i will write it as from ai brahma okay click ok so once you click ok so our activity will start so here if you see your bot has run successfully so once you completed your bot activity just go ahead and check in your channel okay see here this is from rpa bot 
from AI Brahma, right? So we have given a two things. So one is a variable, another one is the constant value, right? So now we will try another one. So I will just remove this constant value. This is from RPA board, right? So I will just replacing with sample string. So this is how our bot will work. So now I'm just running. So how we can use it in the actual project, right? So example account number or a transaction ID with a status. So that I will show you. So I'm just taking as a message here, but you can connect with your Excel or connect with your database, right? So you can get a status in the variable. That variable you can pass it into messages. So now I'm giving here account number right one two three four five six just i'm giving and status status is pass or completed like this okay just i'm clicking okay so now bot is sending a message through the uh, our rpa bot to your team so if you go to the team now see here account number one two three four five six status is pass that's it boom right so very easy steps we are following and we are achieving this wonderful activity i hope you like this activity if you have any questions please comment on the video definitely we can discuss more about this feature and we can use it in our projects right so currently i'm using this feature and some of the uh, good uh, developers are using this feature Maybe you can also use these features in your client activities, right? So, and if you have any question about RPA, any question about automation anywhere, feel free to ask because I have a dedicated WhatsApp group for technical issues and training things. You can join that. I have mentioned that link in a description and please comment on the video. What is your thought on my videos and what concept you want to learn from my side and if you want any help regarding the project and everything please connect from any social media contact which i have mentioned in the description so if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and please share this channel details to your friends and family and whoever wants to learn rpa from the scratch so thank you very much for your like subscribe and comments thank you have a nice day happy learning